Hello, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So this like this Pablo Hidalgo Lucasfilm situation just isn't going away. It's not going away. It just seems to be snowballing more and more. This is an article on Bleeding Fool. I'll leave it linked down below. Uh, it's written by Ichibaka. Um, but it's an interesting one because it, it just chronicles uh, a set of tweets which was about Lucasfilm, written by someone who applied for the uh, social media manager position, which is, um, yeah, interesting. Um, it's fascinating. Now, Pablo Hidalgo uh, is a very interesting character because he seems... It, well, he's a bit of a douche canoe. He just seems to flaunt hate everywhere. And... Um, very much a hypocrite as well has has gone on to say that certain people who didn't like Ray and things like that had a problem with women um, but as this um, article shows you these tweets from Amber Goldsmith uh, will show you is that he just has a problem with everyone they literally just have a problem with everyone that's the point that Lucasfilm are now at we hate everyone all the bread earners. We hate you all. Like, what? Really? Okay, then. Absolute raging hypocrite, uh, as this article points out. I'll leave this link down below as well. Um, but it goes on to say, look, we've seen the Glassdoor reviews on Lucasfilm in the past, and now in the wake of Pablo Hidalgo mocking Star Wars theory, an applicant for Lucasfilm's social media manager position comes forward to tell her story. And it's an interesting one. I think you guys will find it interesting. So, Amber Goldsmith. Take it from someone who applied to Lucasfilm's social media manager position, which has been relisted no less than three times in one to 1.5 years. Pablo and his friends are douchebags. They go around screenshotting fans' tweets to make fun of them. I complained to DLFL about it, so Disney uh, Lucasfilm. Now, obviously, with respect to that, there's no evidence, okay? So I, I'm not saying anyone's lying, but just take it with a pinch of salt. But I can believe it. Specifically, after Matt Martin of Lucasfilm helped me apply for the social media manager job at the company, I was first told, you don't fit our company culture. Then, I was informed by a friend that found Pablo and his friends had screenshotted my tweets, making fun of me. They're just... They're just they're literally just a bunch of children, aren't they? Fascinating. And, and and I think what's so funny about this, right, is that the way they act, yeah, literally like lashing out and saying, oh, you got a problem with women or simultaneously doing it and all this kind of stuff, genuinely screams incel. Like, it genuinely does. Oh, you don't like women, you know, you don't like race, so you've got a problem with women then. It just means you don't like women. It's like, right, okay. Who are you white knighting for, incel? Who, who are you white? Who are you white knighting for? Daisy Ridley's not going to, you know, chow down on your little pecker, mate. Like, calm down, all right? That chipolata's going nowhere. Um, and this is the thing. This seems to be pretty commonplace, actually. Uh, uh, loads of people remember Joss Whedon, a, a raging feminist who also apparently, you know, abuses his position to get in women's pants. Like it's. These people, these white knights, unreal. Um, and I think what's so, you know, potentially worse about the situation is that obviously Amber Goldsmith here says that she's an autistic person as well, which is horrendous. Not that she's autistic, that people are making fun of her because she's autistic. Um, now, I don't know if they actually were mocking her because she's autistic. If so, then yeah, that's real bad. Uh, mocking someone that is autistic doesn't automatically mean that it's, you know, bad. You can not know that fact and still mock someone it's okay uh, I'm also an autistic person which made this mocking and bullying by Pablo and his friends much worse because I literally had never interacted with any of them beforehand uh, yet several of them had works for Lucasfilm in their bios they looked me up specifically to mock me I think I think that's I think what she's saying there is obviously it made it worse for her because she's an autistic person they had never interacted with her so it made the, the sort of um, impact of it far worse, which does make sense, um, and is awful as well. Absolutely awful. Uh, many women in the Raylo side of the fandom specifically have Pablo and his friends, 
uh, as well as his wife blocked on Twitter uh, because they went after female and Raylo fans for a while, screenshotting and mocking them online. Now that Raylo's blocked them en masse, they moved to men. Well, I mean, I don't... I, I, I genuinely couldn't give a toss um, about this whole Raylo nonsense. Like, couldn't care less. Um, some of those people were doing some absolute batshit crazy things. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. But it's interesting, isn't it? You know, that, that this seems to be one of those things that people are well aware of. Um, but it doesn't really come to light very often. So it seems to... I'm sure even Kathleen Kennedy is aware of this. But is just refusing to do anything about it. It's like the whole, you know, situation with any sort of Hollywood high-up elite. You know, people know that they do these demonstrably uh, morally reprehensible things, but they do nothing about it because reasons, I guess. Like, why? Um, and then Star Wars Theory chimed in. Very nice of him. And says, look, I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, thank you. And I'm so sorry you went through something I and other female fans went through over the past few years with Pablo and co as well. Nobody deserves to be treated like that, and I really hope that you can get through to Lucasfilm somehow about him. They don't listen to me. Well, look, if anyone's going to be able to get through to Lucasfilm, it'll be someone with nearly 4 million subscribers. And either way, Star Wars Theory, mate, just, just make money off them. Sod them. Sod them. So there you go. It, it's fascinating, isn't it? It just seems like they, they just hate everyone. I mean, I guess they're not... They're, at least they're not prejudiced with it. You know? They just hate everyone. <laughs> they hate any fan. You're a woman, we hate you for that. You're a man, we hate you for that as well. Whatever you are, it doesn't really matter. We just hate you all evenly. That seems to be the message from, uh, from Disney and Lucasfilm here at this point in time. Um, now... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Pablo did have retired in his Twitter bio. Is he actually retired now? Because there seems to be a lot of a lot of confusion about that, a lot of miscommunication. A lot of people don't know whether he is retired or whether he just put that to try and cover his ass. But obviously, Lucasfilm and Disney definitely told him to apologise uh, to Star Wars Theory. That is, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, the truth. No evidence, but pretty PR spin apology from him anyway. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Please do let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the guys of a Mr. H. Take care.